What's up guys? Um, if I look like a lobster today, it's because I was out at my pool and I didn't wear any sunscreen like I should have. I should know better by now. But anyways, in today's video, we are going to talk about Printful versus Printify, which is better. I'm personally going to talk about which platforms I plan on using in the future and my experiences with both of them. Feel free to take part in this discussion in the comments below. Which one do you think is better, Printful or Printify? Or is there another one that you guys use? that is also better. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg. I make videos about making money online, trying out different side hustle ideas, and also documenting the journey along the way. So if that's something that you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And in today's video, we are going to talk about Printful versus Printify. I recently made a print on demand challenge video if you guys want to check that out, it's up here in a card. It's the Print On Demand Pride Month Challenge. I'm really proud of it. It's one of my favorite videos. And in that video, I talked about how I was using Printify when in the past I've used Printful and I've made videos on Printful as my print on demand fulfillment service. So in this video, I'm going to explain why I'm switching from Printful to Printify. But I mean, I'm not really switching because I do plan on still using Printful in the future as well as exploring even other options. If you've been watching my channel, for the past couple of months, you know that I've been dabbling in different online business ideas, including print on demand. For those of you that don't know what print on demand is, it's basically a drop shipping business model. You create your own custom products and then you can sell them on an online store. And the only time you have to pay for a product is when a customer buys it first. This is the first print on demand t-shirt that I made from my print on demand quarantine challenge. I created a bunch of quarantine themed t-shirts and this is another one. My sister just graduated high school School, so my mom bought one of my designs for her on a t-shirt. This is from my most recent print on demand challenge. All of these t-shirts are the same Bella Canvas 3001. They're all on sale on my Etsy store by the way. Link in the description if you're interested in any of these designs. Okay so basically the beauty of this business model is you don't have to pay for inventory up front. You just list your customizable products on your store and then when a customer comes and orders it then you pay a supplier to print package and ship the product to your customer. When I was first getting started with print on demand, I was actually kind of intimidated by Printify. That's the reason why I went with Printful. After actually signing up and going through the process of designing, um, ordering samples and having them ship it to my house. It honestly really isn't any different from Printful. However, there is a slight difference between these two companies. So with Printful, it's really simple. You have an online store that sells these shirts with my custom design on them. You connect Printful to your online store. Say someone buys this, Printful in their fulfillment center, the order is automatically imported to them and they ship the finished product to your customer. However, with Printify, it's a little bit different because Printify is sort of like a middleman. They're connecting you with these other companies. They have this platform and you upload your designs to these products and then you choose a print provider. And technically this is the print on demand fulfillment center that's actually doing the printing, the packaging and the shipping. Technically Printify is not doing that. They're just connecting you with these other print on demand fulfillment centers, if that makes sense. Whereas Printful, it's all done in one place. Printful has their warehouse they have a couple different warehouses. Okay, so the main reason I recently switched from Printful to Printify is because when I wanted to do my print on demand Pride Month challenge, I went on to Printful for the first time in a little while. This is what I saw when I tried to create a new t-shirt on Printful. Pretty much all of their products are temporarily unavailable because of the COVID situation. I think what they're doing is if you get an order on a product that you already have, they can do that, but you can't create any new products at the moment. So yeah, to wrap up this video, Printify and Printful are two of the most popular print-on-demand fulfillment services. I recommend using both of them because some products are available on Printful but not Printify, and some products are available on Printify but not Printful. And another thing I forgot to mention earlier is uh, I've noticed a lot of the products are actually cheaper on Printify than on Printful. For example, the Bella Canvas t-shirts, you can get that for a lot cheaper on Printify than on Printful. And there is an option 
on Printify to have a premium subscription. So if your print on demand business is doing very well, you can upgrade to a premium subscription and then you'll get discounts on their products, which I think that would be worth it if you are selling a lot and if your business is doing very well. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you're notified for the next video. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.